In 1854, the disease cholera broke out in London, England. One man, a personal hero of mine, Dr. John Snow, had a theory that the disease was being spread through contaminated water. So he made a map of the effect at neighborhoods to chart where and how badly people were getting sick. He discovered that the worst cases were all around a water pump on Broad Street. He removed the handle from the pump so people could not use it to pump the contaminated water, and voila, people stopped getting sick. And with that, the modern science of epidemiology was born. I suppose you're wondering why I'm telling you this. Because they pay you? Excellent, Lucas. No, because this man is the poster child for disease transmission. <laughs> Marshall, you should be in bed, not running around school or coming to class. I don't have time to be sick. I'm behind schedule. On what? Marshall's installing wireless network cards into kids' computers so they can surf the net. For a fee, of course. Mm -hmm. He's not charging me because we're roommates. I never said that. Well, Marshall, if you keep running around, not only will you not be able to finish your network, but you're going to make yourself sicker and increase the chances of sharing your germs with others. Is it a dice to share? I don't! Dr. Snow would have a field day with you. Marshall, listen to Z before you get sicker. Okay, Bob, go back to sleep. places I've gone. Students. Teachers. Principal. You know, like normal schools. But it's not. Weird stuff happens here. Really weird stuff. And what's this guy doing here? Something's going on and someone's behind it. And we're gonna get to the bottom of it. There is nothing wrong at Blake Halsey High. you in math class. Yeah, you, you look like you're ready to fall asleep. Marshall kept me up all night with his sneezing. <laughs> Marshall, please, just go to your room. You're gonna get us all sick. Oh, really? You know that wireless network you sold me? The one you said I would absolutely love? I don't. It's a piece of junk. It doesn't work. Well, it was working when I gave it to you. Are you saying that I don't know how to work my own computer? I want my money back. Nope. No, wait. Um... I'll fix it. I, I will. No, I will. Are you begging me? Yes. I'm begging. I like that. <sighs> Ew. That is it. You're going straight to your room and getting into bed. Ron, help me out here. No, I'm not touching him. Don't be a baby. Just don't breathe near him and wash your hands and fingers once you finish touching him. I'll help you. Come on, Marshall. Yeah. Okay, you realize that's a very inefficient surgical mask. But a very strong fashion statement. And don't sneeze on me again, Marshall. Yeah. Oh, hey, Wheeler. Be sick after you fix my computer. Yeah, I'll get right to it. What did you say? Uh, bring it by my room and I'll get right on it. Good. 
Otherwise, I see you suffering a big loss in sales. Understand? Corinne, I am shocked. Only 99. Hey, there's no reason why my office should be this hot. in my office is that cold. You have got to do something about it. Excuse me, Principal Durst. Did I hear you say your office is cold? It's like an igloo. Have you been working out in your shirt and tie? Again? I could fry an egg on my desk. Give me a, a few hours. I'm, I'm sure I can have it up and running again. It's the fourth system down. But Tyler's spreading the word. I'm, I'm putting out an inferior product. If I can't get these fixed, I'm going to have to. I can't say it. Refund people their money? Never use the R word in front of me. Make that five systems down. Bless you. Can we just tell the school nurse and ask her to bring Marshall some food? Marshall's not gonna get well eating infirmary food. Like, cafeteria food is any better. What's up with this? What just happened to your tray of food? It got blown out of my hands. <laughs> Did you just see that? I'm standing here, aren't I? Will someone tell me what's going on? Okay, who's doing that? Come out of there, this instant. <laughs> Principal Durst, you got slimed. We didn't do it. Oh. Well then, who did? We'll get back to you. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. What's going on? I'm not 100%, but I have a hunch. That came from upstairs. wrong. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Do you have a hunch about this? Come on. guys, but I, I'm really not feeling hungry right now. Besides, my, my nose is dripping like a faucet. We all felt it. Great cold be high as caught Marshall's cold. We go to the only boarding school with a hyperdimensional vortex in the basement. Good point. Mm -hmm. But how? Most illnesses don't even jump from one species to another, never mind jumping from a person. Well, building, buildings don't catch colds. Look at the evidence. Fever, chills. Sneezing, coughing. Drippy nose, watery eyes. Whatever symptoms Marshall gets, the school gets. Wait a minute. What? Didn't Marshall say he thought his fever was getting worse? If there is a connection between Marshall and Blake Holsey High, what could that mean for the school?
Marshall's temperature is still going up. I got this off the internet. It's an enlarged copy of the map that Dr. John Snow made in 1854. He made these markings wherever there were people sick. As you can see, he mapped what he called a chain of infection. That's when he got the idea to take the handle off the pump so people couldn't drink water from it. Exactly. Once Dr. Snow isolated and removed the cause of the disease from the system, the system recovered. He saved thousands of lives. Okay, let's split up. Each one of us takes a map of the school. Then we interview everyone to see which part of the school got sick. And when? And when, and then write it all down on our map. That should lead us to our own contaminated pump. Lucas? I was just thinking. You know how the school's cold matches Marshall's cold? Yeah. Whoa. We all know that we can't cure a cold, but we can treat the symptoms. We can also do things to help our body fight the illness, which will make us better faster. You mean like getting plenty of rest and uh, taking medicine, things like that? Max out your body's ability to fight the virus. Okay, so how about Vaughn and I map the chain of infection, Josie Lucas, see if you can make Marshall feel better. Professor Zachary. <laughs> Professor Zachary, I need a word. My office. I know that look. She's going to evacuate the school. We need more time. You all have your missions? I'll stall Durst. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Principal Durst, I don't think an immediate evacuation is called for. But I don't see that I have any choice. I can't endanger the students. Things around here really aren't that far outside normal parameters. Really? You hope that normal? Yes, it's a very common problem in new buildings. But this building's over 150 years old. Yes, but when it was built, it was new. There we go down, it goes good, Marshall. No, 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 not more soup, I just heard. Don't give me that, I'm gonna die. So where was it? has the word science in it. Look, all I'm saying is that I'm sure there's going to be a perfectly reasonable explanation once we complete our investigation. You've got one hour. After that, I have no other choice but to begin evacuation. around the second floor. Cold and hot rooms, slime, strange noises, and other students are starting to get sick. Plus the number of their computers stopped working all within a few minutes of each other. Computers? Now by comparing the reported incidents, we found that everything started around Lucas and Marshall's room and spread outwards to the rest of the school. That makes Lucas and Marshall's room ground zero. Something in that room is like Dr. Snow's water pump. Okay, it's here. Somewhere. What? The pump. The thing that's making the school sick. Okay, Marshall, Lucas, have either of you noticed anything strange in here over the past few days? You know, anything that looked like it was sick? Nothing, I mean, aside from Marshall. I've been spending a lot of time in here working on the wireless network, but uh, I haven't noticed anything. Did you work on the network while you were sick? Maybe. You were working on it last night. I guess. Is that the network server? Yeah, but... Uh... 
Step aside a second, Marshal. What are you gonna do to it? Oh, nasty. Oh. That is gross. Welcome to the hot zone. Ew. You didn't notice that? It wasn't like that yesterday. How did it get into the whole school? Excellent question, Vaughn. The servers are pump, so we need to find the pump handle. The thing that's taking the illness from the computer and pumping it into the school. Uh, yeah. Okay, everyone. We don't know what we're dealing with here, so proper disease prevention protocol from this point on. That came from the basement. Okay, Corinne, Vaughn, you come with me to check out the basement. Josie, Lucas, go down to the lab, get rubber gloves and anything else you think you need to protect yourself and start checking out that server. You're loving this, aren't you? I'm in my happy place. Let's move. <laughs> Does that look normal? Temperature. Oh, this is way too high. If the pressure gauge goes red, the whole thing. We don't have much time. Are you sure this is going to work? I'm plugging this should disconnect it from the chain of infection. But uh, after things go back to normal, I can plug the server back in, right? Guys, come on. This is my business we're talking about here. Get a grip, Marshall. You're making people sick. That should do it. Vaughn, come in, Vaughn. We did it. How's it going down there? No good. The pressure gauge is still rising. I don't understand. It's unplugged. That should have disconnected it from the school. That's not what's doing it. The server's got its own backup battery. It must still be transmitting the infection like a computer virus over the wireless network I installed in the school. You were right. I should have been more careful about my cold. So what do we do now? If we sterilize the server, would that stop the disease from spreading? Sterilization is exactly what Dr. Snow tried to do to the contaminated water. He just didn't have the resources to accomplish it as well as he wanted. What resources? Well, things like uh, filters, chemicals. Even high heat would have worked. Heat? heat. Professor, clear a path for us. Got it. I know what you're thinking. I'm begging you. I can still fix this. If I felt we could save it, we would never do what we're about to do. Dirty server, coming through! Vaughn, open the furnace door! Stand back, Vaughn! Okay. okay, let's do it! Clear! Marshall, see who he's doing. Well, I'm guessing if the school's doing better, Marshall's feeling better too. You almost done cleaning up the second floor? Next time Durst gives me a choice between mopping up goo and a month of detention, I'm taking the detention. Oh, and uh, by the way, still waiting for my refund on the wireless network? 
Yeah, sure, here you go. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Were you there? Refund, please. Thank you.